Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to take a look at the uh, MQTT version 5 request response feature. Now this is a new feature added in uh, MQTT version 5 and it's designed to make implementing uh, instant messaging type applications easier and also for making client server type applications easier. Now as you know uh, MQTT uses a publish and subscribe pattern and there's no direct communication between the sending client and the destination client as you can see here. In contrast to that, HTTP, uh, which is used for web apps, uses the client-server model and there is a direct connection between the client, which is client A, and the server, which is this one here. And there's a direct connection between client B and the server here. Now the application is running on the server, so it might be a data about database application it might just be a simple web page so the client makes a request to the server the server does something a response to the client now in MQTT version 5 the ability to publish a response topic was added to the publish message and it's part of the actual properties the properties is a new feature and I discussed that in another video and that allows you to implement the request response pattern between clients and a web application like a, a, a web server. Now you can actually do this in MQTT version 3 w without using the response topic uh, but you have to either include the response topic in the message payload or you have to uh, develop a topic structure where you can include the uh, response topic. And just for illustration here we can see here there's the payload and I've got the topic here I'm using the topic test and then I put the data here and I put it into a uh, an object and I convert this obviously to, to JSON to send it. Uh, alternatively you can use a topic structure which I, I, th I prefer and you have a base topic and client 1 and client 2. Now this is the destined client 1 is the destination client so client 1 is actually subscribing to this topic it will be subscribing to base topic client 1 slash everything and client 2 here is the actual sender of that message so the sender of that message was client 2 now when client 1 receives that message you'll know to resend the response to client 2 so it will send the response to client 2 and it will indicate the fact that he sent it by including his client ID in the topic here so, as I say, it is possible to do this in MQTT version uh, 3.1, uh, but you have to take uh, measures to do that. Okay, we're going to concentrate on the, the feature in uh, MQTT version 5, and what we're going to do, and what I've got some scripts to do, is we're going to implement this type of arrangement where we've got a, an application here. This could be a, a database, basically a emulating a web server and we're going to create basically virtual connections between client A and that server so we're going to create a both way connection between these two and we're going to do the same with client B and client C so they're all going to have effectively virtual connections between them and the actual server so how does it work um, I'm going to just take you through the process and I've got um, Python clients, demo clients to illustrate this and so what we've got is uh, clients and we've got a, uh, a server. So in the example client one is a client makes a request and the server responds to it. Uh, additional clients can be configured as per client one and these clients all publish on a common topic and they receive responses on their own private response topic and they send that response topic as part of their published message. So client one subscribes to his response topic. In this case here, it's called org responses client one. Now the server responds, sorry, subscribes to a common topic, and I've just called it all common. So our client is going to publish on all common, and is going to receive responses on org responses client one, and client two will receive responses on org responses client two, etc. So this is the Python code snippet to do that. Uh, I have to use the properties feature and I set the response topic here to the org responses client 1, this is client 1 doing this and then I publish on the common topic 
and I have to include the properties there. I'm not going to go into the, the Python code. Um, you might not even program Python, so it's probably irrelevant if you don't. But I will include the demo script so you can actually try this out yourself. There's also a new thing called correlation data. The idea for this is you can actually mark the message so you can add a counter to the message. And this is basically just to verify that the response that you get back from the application, the server in, in this example, uh, corresponds to the message that you sent. So you just add a simple counter to the outgoing message and you should get the correlation data that the counter coming back in the response message. Now the server, the server just receives the uh, message on the common topic, it extracts the response topic from the message and then it just publishes its response on that response topic along with any correlation data from the received message if, if you've sent any. And this is the code on the server side, um, again it's Python code. Uh, we're using the on message callback and you can see here I extract the response topic from the message itself and then further down I publish the response on that response topic and I'm, in this case I'm just publishing a simple text server response and I'll just take you through the demo scripts now and we're just going to do the, the, the demo so you can actually see this working. Okay here are the scripts here I've got client1, client2 and the server so I'm going to start the server one first so this is the server and this is just going to listen on the common topic and it's going to publish back the responses so just drag it over out the way so it's connected and just rearrange that and let's run the client one and what client one is going to do is connect is to connect to the broker publish messages on the common topic and it's also going to publish correlation data and it should receive a response back from the from the server so let's run it so we connected and now we start publishing you see here it's responded let's drag it over here so you can see it's got a message coming in correlation data and it's responded Okay, and I can do the same with client2, but I'm not going to do that in this demonstration. The scripts are available for, for download and you can try it yourself. Okay, so that's the end of the video. If you've got comments, then please leave them below. If you like the video, then click on the like button below. If you want to be notified of new videos on the channel, then you can always subscribe to the channel. So until next time, goodbye.